This is Moth Daddy Bart Coppen speaking directly to you from the country of Brazil. I work in Regua, a natural reserve. The full name is Reserva Ecológica de Guapiazu, and here I document and study the local species of invertebrates with a heavy focus on moths, because moths are my specialism. And today I am going to show you a species of moth that is common in Regua, but interesting enough to warrant its own video on YouTube. This is Bert Coppens, and welcome to my bug highlight. Ah, you're still here to watch the bug highlight? Good, good. These fascinating moths are a member of the Saturnidae family, the emperor moths, or silk moths. And this particular species here is called Cisphinx molina. This species is found in many warm to tropical countries in America. And is found, including but not limited to, in Suriname, Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, probably Honduras, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Venezuela, Trinidad, Guyana, France, Guyana, Brazil and Argentina. Now that, my friends, is a lot of places. The caterpillars on this species feed on many species of Fabacea. Just naming a few are Albizia, Acacia, Cassia, Gleditia, Robinia, Inga, Senna and more. On top of that, Diospiros, Salix, Rhinus and Ficus are reported in literature. Wow, that is a whole wide range of host plants. The caterpillars of this species are also fantastic. And sometimes these moths are also raised in the United States and Europe by hobbyists who love to raise silk moths. It's reported that raising this species is not difficult, especially if you have plants from the Fabacea family. Considering that they are a Saturnidae silk moth, they don't have a functional mouth and do not feed. Therefore, their lifespan is rather short. And they run out of energy in the span of a week or less. In Brazil, it's common in the lowland secondary rainforest. If you come to Regua, it's very easy to see this species. By the way, everybody can go to Regua. Tourist, student, scientist, everybody is welcome here. Check out our website, you can come here, you can use the moth trap and see this insect for yourself. My YouTube channel is completely demonetized as well by YouTube. If I upload a video, I don't make any money from any of my videos. Despite the fact I made over 1400 insect videos. My channel is mostly dependent on crowdfunding. If you like my work and my videos, consider tipping or donating. Of course, only if you're willing and able to. Help yourself, please, before you help others, especially a random YouTuber. However, if you like the show and want to see more insects from tropical places, consider becoming my sponsor. It costs a lot to pay for flight tickets to go to South America to film insects, you know. I raise funds for that purpose. Hope to see you in my next video. And who knows what cool insects we are going to encounter next week. Bye bye.